Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. And if you're just visiting, please consider subscribing. Today, I want to share with you my thoughts on the new Zerge of Release, and that's collaboration with Tony Iommi of Black Sabbath. Uh, he collaborated with Zerge of on a fragrance, which is called uh, Tony Iommi Monkey Special. Now, when this fragrance first came out, I really didn't think it was for me because the impression that I had of it based on the notes was that it was a really heavy leather type of scent. And as we all know, I don't get along with leather, so I didn't think it was for me. But uh, I think uh, my husband actually found out about this release before I did, because, you know, I mentioned it before, he's a huge music fan, especially rock fan. So he knew about this collaboration and he was really, really nagging me to try this. He was saying, we need to get a bottle of this out. So I thought, okay, no, I definitely am not getting a bottle. I don't think I'm going to like this perfume, but let's get a sample and see what we think about it. So we got a sample, we tried it, and as you can guess, because I'm doing a full review on it and because I now have a full bottle, I loved it. We both loved this fragrance. And you know, the interesting thing is, um, not that long ago, Sebastian reviewed this fragrance. And you know, I talk about Sebastian all the time. I love his channel, I love his reviews. So I, I always, if I'm thinking about getting something, I always check out his channel to see if he has reviewed it. And by the time he did his review, I already tested the sample. So I knew what I thought about the fragrance. I knew that I wanted a full bottle. But then I watched his review and I thought, okay, if I hadn't tried the sample and I just watched his review, I would never get this. I would never get this. So you will see when I talk about the fragrance that, uh, you know, uh, I don't, I, I agree with him on some things and I don't agree with him on other things. And it's not that I don't agree, it's just the fragrance smells different to me than it does to him. Anyways, let's talk about the fragrance. So like I said, I purchased the full bottle and they do have, oh, this is upside down, there you go. They do have two versions of this. They have the regular bottle, which is what I purchased. And they also have a signed bottle with crystals, which is extremely expensive. I obviously didn't go for that. So I never keep the outside box, but I wanted to show it to you because I think it's really beautiful. And of course, inside this box, there is another box. And typically, Zerge of boxes are purple. This one is black. There you go. It's beautifully done. I took out, oh, there is a little pamphlet that just flew away. Doesn't matter. Here's the box. I took out the bottle already, but it was in here. So now let me show you the actual bottle. It's beautiful, very rock and roll kind of bottle. I think it really looks like that. These little, what might seem like little dots here, they're actually little monkeys. I know it's impossible to see here, but these are real monkeys. So this collaboration is part of Zerge of Blends. So let me read just a couple of lines for you about Zerge of Blends. Uh, this is an experimental and experiential concept that creates multi-sensory experiences blending fragrance with other sensory elements. The first multi-sensory interactions, primary be between perfume and music, come together in an unexpected and unique modern way, merging the dark and gothic notes of scent, sound, and design in a unified perception. So there you go, just a little bit about this collaboration. Now, the most important thing, let's talk about this fragrance. So let me read you the notes first. There are quite a lot of them here. So we have rum, passion fruit, geranium, bergamot, leather, uh, patchouli, cinnamon, rose, labdanum, musk, caramel, vanilla, ambergris, sandalwood, and tonka bean. 
So of course there is a note of leather and you know, uh, my perception of this fragrance was that it's a leather type of fragrance. And again, when I uh, listened to Sebastian's review of this fragrance, he talked about it as uh, having a, a pretty heavy, this um, even a little bit scratchy, I don't remember the exact words that he used, but like serious note of leather, even a little bit animalic. And so, you know, this is an example of how differently our noses uh, perceive fragrance or how different our body chemistry is because for me, this fragrance smells very differently. So what does it smell like? When I first sprayed this fragrance on, I do get a little bit of leather, just a touch, very, very light leather. I get a lot of patchouli and I get just a touch of sweetness, very little. So mostly it's a blast of patchouli. Yes, this is definitely, to me, this is a patchouli scent. This, this is mostly about patchouli, not leather, but more about patchouli. You get a blast of patchouli, you get a touch of leather and a touch of some kind of sweetness. That lasts probably, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. As the scent starts warming up on the skin, passion fruit comes in very, very strong, very strong. Passion fruit is front and center. I smell the sweetness and the fruitiness of passion fruit, and it's very sweet. Patchouli always stays there. Like I said, this is a patchouli scent. So patchouli is strong throughout the whole life of this fragrance. It's always there. Leather, well, at the beginning, uh, there is a small touch of leather. And I feel like as the fragrance develops, I get even less leather, even less. It becomes almost unnoticeable. So for me, this fragrance is really about patchouli and about passion fruit. It is stunning. Let me tell you, this is a stunning, stunning fragrance. It is gorgeous. I never expected to fall in love with this fragrance. I never expected it to smell the way that it does on me. And by the way, for my husband, it smells the same. He gets really the same notes as I do. So that's how we perceive this fragrance. Um, it is definitely unisex. It is not masculine. I, I've heard uh, or read, can't remember, some reviews that say that this is masculine leaning. I don't think so. I don't think it's masculine leaning. I don't think it's animalic. There's nothing animalic to me. The leather is barely here to my nose like really it is barely here like for me patchouli overpowers the leather and it becomes a patchouli scent so you get this gorgeous combination of really really sweet juicy uh, passion fruit mixed together with this earthy patchouli it's not a dirty patchouli but it is an earthy patchouli and it's this earthy sweet combination that i find Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The other note uh, that some people seem to get pretty prominently is rose. I don't get it. I don't get rose. I don't notice rose. I mean, knowing that it's there, maybe, maybe, maybe I can find it somewhere in the background. But if I didn't know that there was rose, I would never even suspect that it was here. I don't get a lot of rose. Again, for me, it's sweet, juicy passion fruit mixed with earthy patchouli. That's really it. That's what this smells like. Uh, performance on this is outstanding as with most um, Zerjov fragrances. Um, it lasts, it projects, uh, it leaves a trail. It's beautiful, it's perfect. It's not, um, I don't know if, if I would call this fragrance a beast because I don't feel like it completely overpowers you or completely fills up the room. Not quite that, but I like it about that. It's strong enough for me without going to that uh, beastly 
territory, you know? So I almost feel like it would be appropriate for any time. Like I think if it went to that beastly uh, category, it, it would only be suitable for like night out, you know, uh, or like an occasion. But because it doesn't quite go there, I feel like this, this fragrance uh, is suitable for any occasion. And, you know, I really think this collaboration worked because even though I am not getting a leather note per se, but this everything, everything, the aesthetic of the bottle, the smell of the fragrance, everything kind of makes me feel a little bit edgy. It makes me feel like, yeah, I am wearing a leather jacket. I don't necessarily smell the leather jacket, but I feel like, yeah, I am wearing this leather jacket. Like, I think, you know, when I wear it, this was, will definitely be the fragrance that I reach for. So, for me, this is a huge, huge winner. This is two thumbs up. I think it's a beautiful collaboration. I think they captured uh, the essence of what this collaboration is supposed to be, you know, bringing together fragrance and rock music, you know, Zerjov and Black Sabbath or Tony Iommi. I think it totally makes sense. The bottle is appropriate. The scent is gorgeous not animalic at all, no heavy leather for me, not masculine at all, definitely unisex. So for me, I would recommend it. But you know, I would still say sample it first. Don't blind buy because it seems like, uh, it, it depends on body chemistry. Different people perceive this fragrance dif differently. You know, for some, they really do get that strong, maybe even almost animalic leather. And for some, they really get mostly this uh, patchouli and passion fruit. So it kind of depends. So I would say sample it first. But for me, I'm so happy that, you know, my husband convinced me that we needed to try this fragrance. I, I love it. Absolutely love it. This has become one of my my favorite, favorite Zerjons. So there you go. These are my thoughts on the new, the new Zerjov release, Tony Iommi Monkey Special. Would love to know if you have sampled this fragrance or if you're interested in trying it. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye!